All right, good evening, ladies and gents. Welcome back to Compound Interesting. This is Emil, and in today's video, I want to share my thoughts on the most expensive meme in the world, Dogecoin. So I am an investor in Dogecoin, believe it or not. I put it on my serious investing hat once I made that investing decision to set up my financial future. <laughs> so I'm gonna run you through all my trades on Dogecoin, where I invested, where I'm taking profits, or if I'm planning on buying more, what do I think of the recent price action, the good and bad, the good points and the bad points for Dogecoin, and whether, why I invested in it, and why I might be scaling out or buying more at these prices. So with all that said, let's get cracking. All right, so the reason I got invested in Dogecoin is because I'm also a big Tesla investor. Uh, you might, if you're a follower of my channel, I talk about Tesla a lot, as well as Bitcoin and other cryptos. But yeah, I'm a, fo uh, a big Tesla investor, so obviously I'm a, a fan of Elon Musk, and he's obviously a fan of Dogecoin. So that was the original, like I've always heard of Dogecoin, but I never want to invest in something stupid like Dogecoin. But once Elon Musk started investing in it, I th kind of thought, ah, sure, it'd be kind of funny to throw throw literally I threw in $50 at the beginning into Dogecoin for the lols in January and at 50x my best performance my best performing investment of my entire life was a fucking joke so yeah it's, it's a little bit embarrassing but yeah obviously I'm, I'm happy enough and I've been taking a little bit of chips off the, off the table along the way but yeah I also did a little bit of trading anytime Elon Musk tweeted about Doge I'd buy a little bit and sell a little bit once it went up a bit but yeah that's not fundamentally good investing whatsoever it's not what i spend 99.999 percent of my investment time and money into it that's not the kind of investments i usually like to make but let's just run through the investment case for dogecoin for the laws for anyway just to see just to see what are the potential bullish points for dogecoin so here's a little piece from an article this is just a paragraph where the financial times are just completely shitting on dogecoin and i just think the the reasoning behind this is all wrong. I, I don't think most people are investing in Dogecoin uh, as a greater fool theory. I think, yeah, obviously some people are, but I think there are also, like most of the people are just enjoying the power of the meme. It's the power of the internet. GameStop stock, similarly like GameStop stock, that was, people were investing in that, not just because they wanted to do the greater fool theory. It was also kind of a, to the financial system, to the hedge funds who are shorting it and trying to wreck everything. It was kind of a F you to the system, if you know what I mean. So that was the, a lot of the reason why a lot of people invested in GameStop, uh, as well as they want to make a little bit of profit potentially on the side. But I think most people investing in Dogecoin are just kind of, you know, buying into the euphoria and having a bit of fun. So obviously a lot of people are putting their life savings into Dogecoin, which is completely uh, illogical and completely irrational and illogical and you should definitely not do that because there's no way this meme is worth on a fundamental b basis this meme this coin should not be worth 40 billion dollars so why does elon musk like dogecoin well elon musk is a big fan of memes if you're following him on twitter which i recommend he always puts up funny memes and memes and the reason dogecoin was invented it was created by a guy kind of taking the piss out of cryptocurrencies uh, anti-capitalist guy who was kind of saying crypto is stupid kind of in a way crypto is stupid look look this is so silly i'm just going to make a coin about a dog and how ironic would it be if that actually turned out to be a real currency in the future that people actually used so there's like a, a one in a million chance that maybe dogecoin could possibly the most ironic outcome could be the actual outcome and dogecoin actually actually becomes used as a currency worldwide so let's play this little clip for you of elon musk explaining the investment thesis of dogecoin from the crypto speculation front the the, the point is that dogecoin was invented as a joke as essentially to make fun of cryptocurrency um, and that's why uh i think th i think there's like an argument like fate loves irony like the most entertaining outcome is the most like what would be the most ironic outcome that the, the that the currency that was invented as a joke in fact, becomes the real currency. Right. Oh, wow. No, absolutely. So. All right, let's have a look at a few more of his tweets. So Elon Musk is obviously a huge fanboy of Dogecoin now. So you can see this one. SpaceX is going to put a literal Dogecoin on the literal moon. And a lot of people will notice the date of that tweet was on April 1st, 2021. So obviously supposed to look like an April's Fool's, April Fool's joke. However, <laughs> a few days later, we see this announcement Guess who got uh, the NASA contract to put the next humans onto the moon? 
SpaceX did Elon Musk's company. So the, the next people who are going to the moon are being carried by SpaceX. So I don't think that was a joke whatsoever. I think Elon Musk is 100% going to put a Dogecoin, a literal physical Dogecoin. Let me see if I can show you my one. I would happily take a bet with anyone that he's gonna put something like this, except the Dogecoin version. He's gonna put one of these onto the moon, the literal moon, a literal Dogecoin. Now just imagine the marketing impact of that. Elon Musk has already put a Tesla Roadster. It's orbiting space. It's on its way to Mars at the moment. So yeah, he's not, his first thing he brought it up into space was a wheel of cheese when he first started with SpaceX. Like this isn't something, this isn't a joke. This isn't something that he, he was just, this isn't something that he hasn't done before. This is something that he likes to do. So there's no shadow and there's no shadow of doubt in my mind that Elon Musk will actually put a Dogecoin on the literal moon. Another potential catalyst, which I, which I think has a, a good high, a high probability of happening, if Dogecoin keeps staying at these kind of market caps, these higher market caps, I think there's a high likelihood Tesla will accept Dogecoin as payment for not only for payment for cars, but for in-app purchases, or for in-car purchases. So, like if you want to get a boost in your acceleration uh, over the over the air software updates that te Tesla is famous for, or in the future when Tesla kind of has its own app store in the way that Apple has its own app store. I believe Tesla will accept Dogecoin in the future, unless Dogecoin obviously crashes or something really terrible happens to Dogecoin along the way. But Tesla are already the, one of the first big companies to accept Bitcoin. So I, th I think in the future, Tesla, there's a, a, a non-zero probability that they will also accept Dogecoin in the future. And the final potential positive cat catalyst for Dogecoin is a Coinbase listing. So if they get listed on Coinbase, that always usually gives a, a little pump to any sort of coin that gets added to Coinbase. And when it's Dogecoin, who knows what the pump could be. Usually it's just like a 50%, 20% on the day, but for the smaller currencies, it, it could be a lot more. But with something like Dogecoin, it could be, you know, 10% to 5,000%, who knows with Dogecoin. So here's another tweet from Elon Musk, to sh just to show that he actually does. He's not completely taking the piss. This isn't him just completely joking about Dogecoin. He actually thinks it would be he would would give Dogecoin its full its full support if the big holders sold all their bags. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen though. All right, so let's have a look at the Dogecoin chart and let's have a look at the patterns that it seems to go through, which I think is fairly obvious. It's a kind of a pump, a dump, but the dump is higher than it was previously, then a long flat period. So that's happened numerous times before. So this is in the US dollar terms, but even in Bitcoin terms, Dogecoin is actually up on Bitcoin since its inception. So it's actually outperformed Bitcoin since it was just just because of its recent point pump, to be honest, is the only reason it's outperformed Bitcoin since its since its inception. So whatever price Bitcoin was in 2013, let's say it was a, a couple of hundred dollars, Dogecoin went from, you know, 0 .10 zeros one to now it's 30 cent. So I think I think it should be fairly obvious that you don't want to be buying in on these pumps unless if you're looking for actual to make money on your investment you shouldn't be buying into these pumps but maybe if you're just trying to have a bit of fun and you don't care if you lose a lot of the percentage value of that money then you can buy into the pumps but the best time is to wait for one of these crashes or wait for one of those sideways movements over the next few years uh, Dogecoin has already pumped massively so on a shorter term basis we can see it was it kind of was creating a, an ascending triangle. So I do a, a very, very tiny bit of technical analysis, but there's a tiny ascending triangle here and it looks like it's broken down from the ascending triangle, which ascending triangles are usually, usually break up. They're more likely to break up than down. And once they break up, yeah, they're usually a bullish sign. But if they break down, it's the target would be the bottom of the triangle, which would be like 30 cent. I took profits on Dogecoin at like, I, I got in b below one cent. Uh, I got in way way below one cent. I sold at like eight cent. Then I sold more, at like you know, fifteen cent. And I sold I sold the exact recent top at thirty nine cent. And I kept selling at around thirty nine cent because, like, it's just a meme. I I'm I have I'm still keeping the majority of my position, but I want to take some profits and something that I invested in as a joke and it's done extraordinarily well. I want to put the, those profits into something actually useful that people actually use and that are amazing cryptocurrencies. So I put those profits into Ethereum and Link. Just full disclosure there. And because I was holding uh, quite a bit of, I was holding, I was only selling small amounts, 
but it, the reason the fact that it kind of broke out of this ascending triangle towards the downside it looks like it's gonna break down uh, I sold a good bit more then so I've taken about 30% of my position out in profits um, but I'm holding it for the laws the majority of it for the laws I'm not there's always the possibility that it just goes completely insane again goes up to one dollar has one of these crazy crazy pumps because yeah no one's investing on this on fundamentals people are like oh look it has a 40 billion dollar valuation it's not worth for, for 40 billion dollars yeah obviously it's not worth 40 billion dollars it wasn't worth four billion dollars like, there's no fundamental value behind dogecoin it's just the power of the meme it's just the power of the internet so people trying to base this on fundamental analysis it doesn't really make any sense the whole investment thesis doesn't make any sense if you're investing in this with like a serious thinking mindset you're doing it wrong you're supposed to be you're supposed to be aping into this like a retard so if you're following advice from me who put my money into dogecoin you're you're definitely not making a, a wise sound investing decision this is not good investing practices at all no one's trying to claim that it is but i'm keeping i'm i am keeping the majority of my bag because maybe the 0.0001% probability that Dogecoin actually becomes the world reserve currency, even though it's far, even though Bitcoin is far superior than, than it in like almost every way. Maybe we should run through all the ways that Bitcoin, or sorry, that Dogecoin is actually crap. Like from a fundamental, from a fundamental analysis perspective, it has an infinite supply. It increases at 1% a year. So it's a 1% uh, infinite inflation rate which is not bad, I suppose, in comparison. It kind of means that people are less likely to hoard Dogecoin. It's more likely to be used as a currency, perhaps, than Bitcoin, which is people are just want to keep it because it's everyone wants to keep their finite supply of Bitcoin. But Dogecoin, maybe it's more likely to be spent because it has uh, unlimited supply. It's also less secure than Bitcoin. Obviously, there's less hash rate. It, it piggybacks off the mining of Litecoin. So not a very secure system whatsoever. There's no team working on it, making it better or anything. The team are long gone. They just kind of made it and left it. There's no upgrades gonna be coming. But the only way it could really get better is if Elon Musk comes along, makes a fork of Dogecoin, and that's, that becomes the real currency. Elon Musk says he's already, he's already set up a mining rig for Dogecoin with him and his kids. He's already bought Dogecoin for his son. So he's, he's actually quite invested in it in a literal sense. He bought the mining rigs. Maybe he wants to do something with Dogecoin that we're not aware of. Who knows what he wants to do with it? But maybe there's something, maybe there's something he's not telling us because he keeps making all these moon references, all these Doge references. And he's been a little bit critical of Bitcoin in the past. I think Dogecoin would better suit his investing mindset, or not investing mindset, but his philosophy about a meme being the currency of the world. He's like, he's a, he has a sense of humor and that would really appeal to him. So maybe he wants to do something with Dogecoin that we're not aware of yet. So TLDR, would I be buying Dogecoin if I had none? Yeah, I'd probably put a little bit of money into Dogecoin just for the loss or for that 0.0001% probability that it does well. But I think it's extraordinarily it's there's the there's a high high probability that it will crash hard extremely hard at some point so that's why i've taken some profits because i made nice profits i don't want to just hold and watch all my profits go away i want to actually keep some of those profits hopefully so i'm leaving the majority of my dogecoin there just for the crack see what happens but if i had no dogecoin i'd probably buy a small amount and i wouldn't be putting lots of money into this but yeah why not it's a bit of fun if you're just investing in it for a bit of fun yeah go for it but don't invest this thinking you're going to thinking it's going to go to one dollar ten dollars one hundred dollars one thousand dollars like people have been saying it can't go to one thousand dollars there's not enough money in the world now other people have been making some serious serious returns at other meme coins so i saw one safe moon that went from one guy put sixty dollars into it and now it's worth 400k uh, and there's all these other meme coins like Hogecoin. My friend texted me saying he, his friend put in $500 and it turned into $50,000 or something in a, in a matter of a few days. So for every one person that does extraordinarily well, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of other coins that you're just left holding the bag. This one safe moon is clearly, like there's no fundamental uh, reason to invest in it. And the creators are just trying to make money. It's very, very clear that it's just kind of a Ponzi scheme. So don't be, in, be very very careful and only put very small you can put some very very small amounts into these really small high projects on the binance smart chain so you can look them up safe moon safe this that the other all these meme coins 
But I would analogize that if you're investing in any of them to just treat it like a lottery ticket, like there's a very low chance that you'll make money, but maybe you could make some really, really nice returns and just treat it like a lottery ticket. Don't be investing a lot of money into it, but maybe $50 if something that you literally would not care if you lost because yeah, there, there's no safety in them. There's no fundamental value in them. All right, so if you enjoyed the video, I hugely appreciate it. If you could smash the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new around here. I always talk about crypto at the moment because obviously crypto is where all the money's being made. Uh, I used to be talking about the stock market and I will be talking about the stock market again when crypto is in the bear market. I'll probably be talking about the stock market because that's where I'll be putting my money and putting my focus again. But right now, all my focus is in crypto. So if you're interested in crypto, make sure to hit that big juicy red button, that subscribe button right there. Uh, hit the notifications because I talk about stocks and crypto. I won't appear in your recommended feed because YouTube only likes niche creators. So hit the notification bell if you like my videos. If you don't like my videos, that's fine. You can watch someone else's. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this kind of fun video on Dogecoin. I really, really hope you learned something and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.